Scotty, what do you think about the war? Well, it's not really the war at the moment. It's a skirmish between a, a big guy and a wee guy. Now, I would like to remind President Putin of the Bible and uh, David and Goliath. I think, I'll be honest with you guys, and I'm not some sort of um, Bible basher, but I think we've strayed too far from the Bible, and I think we've strayed too far from the only one true living God who dwells among us in his risen power. So that's what I think is happening in the world today. The world's going a bit wrong because I think we've lost it now. There's Mike saying the Bible's fiction. Mike, have a read of it right now, and you'll see it actually tells you what's happening in the world today. So the Bible has a kind of Nostradamial effect about it. Amen, here, here, absolutely real justice. A shout out for Jimmy, he's a big fan. Yes, of course, but do, do not convert me. No, we wouldn't convert me. I don't actually like your handle, Mike. It's not terribly nice, so we'll say bye to you. Right, Mike's away down the Swanee for being an idiot. Uh, fantastic, we've converted him into toast. <laughs> uh, what are your memories of being in Hallam FM in the late 90s? My friends and I loved that show. Steel City Saint, EDC. I loved that show. I loved the Steel City. I loved the Yorkshire people, South Yorkshire accents, everything, everything about my time at Hallam FM was outstanding. Lord Reith, the big Labrador as well, tremendous. The lovable lassie of the big switchboard. Your Bible and God comments are the greatest thing I've heard you say on TikTok. God bless you. Well, I walk with nature. I'm only speaking the truth. You know, as I say, there's nothing strange or cranky or whatever about it. People will try and rubbish me for saying it, but I've only spoken the truth. And that, sadly, is what's missing today in geopolitics. Saying to the people, I will tell you the truth. So instead of actually saying, I will tell you the truth worldwide, I'm saying, although I'm telling you the truth worldwide right now, and two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue, I would say to you, Read the Bible. Read Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job. And just read.